Hey guys, Mitch here with Hyper and I'm back again. I don't know if you remember, a few weeks ago I posted a video about this new construction build that up in Winghaven that had a bunch of duct leakage. So we're back at it again and today we're actually sealing the ductwork. I just want to point out a couple of things. I'm going to document this. See that hole right there? That's on the supply side, okay? So that hole is going to get filled with our patented glue here. But this is what I'm trying to say here, is that your air handler is right here. Your air is pushing through this ductwork and it's trying to get up to the second floor of this house, but on the way up there, it's finding itself leaking through all these little micro cracks throughout the entire duct system. So if you look here, there are just countless amounts of leaks everywhere. See, somebody tried to seal this with some tape, but it just doesn't do a good job. So what I've done is I've hooked my system up my system is going to calculate the duct leakage and then I'm going to send this patented glue through it and think of this as like a bubble gum. It's basically looking for all the holes in the duct work and as it's finding it, it's sending it through those holes and it's only sticking to those holes and as it's flowing through it, it's closing the hole up like this. So I'm going to be in and out of this video and I'm going to show you, we're going to document this hole right here in particular. So stay tuned with me. And wait until the end of the project, and you're gonna see that this hole is gonna be filled with like a white gooey looking material. Completely non-toxic, safe for you to breathe, safe for you to be around. The key ingredient in this glue is the same ingredient used to make baby pacifiers. So just chew on that for a minute while I go and start sealing this system. See you soon. All right guys, we're back at it. Phase two, phase two, this is the sealing process. So look at the computer screen here. Okay, I let the data tell me what to do. Now right now, what this computer is telling me is that I currently have 164 CFM of duct leakage. All right, so that's currently 20% of the system that's losing air. And here's a graph here from where we started. We started at around 500 CFM. And just to make this easier for some of you guys, like the homeowners out there that don't know the technical language, CFM is cubic feet per minute. And basically what I'm talking about here, you can compare this to basketballs of air per minute. So let's just say right now we're currently losing 152 basketballs of air. And what's happening is we're actually sealing up the ductwork right now. If you look right here, this is called a lay flat tubing. See this? The glue is coming through. You can see it through the, through the hole there. See that little jet? And it's squirting through this lay flat. And as it's coming through, I have it blocked off right here above the coil. And you can actually already see. Check this out. See how that hole is already starting to seal up? Isn't that crazy? That's nuts. But that's how it works. Might be able to get a shot up here on this hole up here too. I'm just showing you these holes because these are the easiest ones to see. Look at these holes right here. This is what's happening inside the wall cavities of your house. This is why this service is so freaking cool. Because you can see above my head here, someone tried to seal these in the past. But the thing is, you can only seal so far, right? So you got this right here, and then it goes up to the wall and through the wall cavities. Now what? How do you seal that? This is how you seal that. All this ductwork right here, see how that one's going straight up through the wall cavities. See, someone tried to tape this stuff off. It's not very impressive. You can actually see it's falling off right here. But that's okay. That's okay. These clients are getting their ductwork clean. I mean, they've already had it clean. They're getting it sealed. And right now, this is sealing all of that, even with the tape on it. It's going to push that tape off, and it's going to let my glue right through that crack, and that's going to lock it down. Let's go back and look at that in real time. It genuinely only takes about 15 minutes to seal the house. It's all the prep work to get you ready. Check that out. We're sealing. That's almost completely sealed. Let's run back to my computer real quick where it's calculating data and it's telling me in real time exactly where we're at with this. All right, so since I've showed you that crack, we've sealed off another 50 CFM, another 50 basketballs of air. Put this in perspective, guys. This customer was losing 500 basketballs of air per minute. That's their conditioned air. Now, some of you naysayers out there might argue and say, oh, where's it going? It's still being conditioned into the home. No, it's not. That air is being lost into your wall cavities, into your attic spaces, into your crawl spaces. It's also leaking bad air back into your ductwork. This is where I like to bring a little bit of science and math into the equation. So when we're working at homes, we bring monitors and optic lasers, and these are detecting the air quality. I'm looking at things like formaldehydes, carbon dioxide, particulate matter, the PM 2.5, the PM 10. This is all stuff that I'm factoring in when I'm looking at your air quality. Look, we're already, since I've been talking to you, we're down to 88 CFM. 
Now we're down to, now this customer went from almost 500 basketballs of air being lost to 88 basketballs of air being lost. That's one, a heck of an improvement. Uh, right now the duck leakage is at 10%, so the National Home Builders Association says that we could stop sealing this house once it reaches 6%. Okay, that's the new national standards since 1996, a 6% duct leakage on new home builds. This is a new home build and it was leaking like 40% of its air. That's terrible and home, home builders should be ashamed of themselves for cranking out this type of quality. The problem is and why they don't want to hire companies like us is because they're too cheap. They don't want to pay to have this six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar house properly sealed off in their ventilation system. They would rather have you, the homeowner, the client, the person spending your hard earned money, the biggest purchase of your life, they would rather have you just throw that money away and breathe in the worst air possible. Because that's exactly what's happening here. All right, we're down to 9.4% duct leakage. 75 basketballs of air is what they're losing. I'm gonna probably get this down to about maybe one or 2% duct leakage. I'm an overachiever and I'll get it down to probably 10% or 10 basketballs of air or CFM if you want to call it, whatever you want to call it, whatever's easiest for you to understand. So I'll be right back. Actually, let's go check on that hole real quick before I cut the camera. Let's go check it. We've been talking for about a few minutes here. All right, that hole's almost completely sealed up. See that? This is how it works. This is how it looks. Let's look at that one on the top there. It looks kind of cool looking. See that? Let's look at this one here. Look at that. See, a lot of people ask me, is it like a liner that goes inside the ductwork? No, it's not a liner. It only adheres to the cracks of the ducts. So there's not like a liner, a film inside the ductwork. It's only sealing off the cracks. Where the cracks are is where it seals. Let's look over here. Oh, here we go, wrong one. Oh, there we go. Let me see, I can't see anything. So sometimes it's just hard to see. That's why you have to rely on the computer to tell you the duct leak is. So right now we're down to 7.9%. So the national standard is 6%. I'm gonna get real close to where I could stop and I'd still be following the standards. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna pause it, I'll come back and show you guys the end result on this system. We're sealing two systems here. All right, friends, so this is pretty much the stopping point for me. I'll turn the camera around. So on this system right here, I've sealed it down to 23 basketballs of air is what they're losing now. This is 2.8% duct leakage, focus that in. 22 basketballs of air, so 22 CFM. 2.8% of duct leakage. This is a huge, this is a huge, huge increase in performance here. So you see the graph there, that's a real time graph. Got down at 21 CFM, which is 21 or 20 basketballs of air, 2.5% duct leakage. Let's run back over here and I'm gonna show you, ah oh man, I'm gonna trip over that. I'll show you the, uh, that, the, those holes I was showing you, I was documenting. Here's those holes. So all of the duct work inside the system, even in the places that we cannot see anymore, now look like that. See that? So everywhere in this HVAC system where there was a hole, now looks like that. It's got our glue in there. Lifetime warranty. Look at it, see right here? See how it's bulging out? See if I can get that to focus. You guys get the point. So I've sealed up this system here. System number one, this one's funding the air to their second floor of the house. We were out here a few years back and cleaned the ducts. And now we're gonna start working on sealing this system. This is the big one. This one has the most duct leakage. This one had about 500 CFM. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you guys wanna get an air loss audit to find out if you would even need this service, uh, just message us below. Just send us a message, text us, call us. We'll get back out to you. We do full home inspections and uh, we can get you a pretty much, oh wait, here real quick. I, uh, I still got it going and right now, I got it at, we're looking at about 1.8% duct leakage at 14 CFM. We're losing 14 CFM at 1.7% duct leakage. That's huge, guys. That's huge. I mean, this was like 40% duct leakage when I started. So, like I said, you guys want to get on my schedule to even see if you need this service. I'm happy to come out and show you guys what your duct leak is leaking. It doesn't take me very long. It takes me about an hour to figure out. And if you guys do want to use the service, there is a $1,200 tax credit you get. So unfortunately, the end of the year is now, so you're going to have to wait for the next year to do that. But it doesn't hurt to call. See you guys.